this is Mrs. Slim here to talk to you about MLA Works Cited and Genocide Research. My website is www.ilovelibraries.com. So make sure it's .com at the end, not .org. So ilovelibraries.com will kind of look like this. From here, click on Research Pathfinders. Research Pathfinders is found over here. Now you'll find Genocide Perpetrators. Click here, Genocide Perpetrators. Here are some different um, so resources for you for your Genocide Perpetrators paper and MLA work cited. The database is Gale Student Resources in Context. The password is FJUHSD. So you would want to take the name of your um, perpetrator of genocide, like Pol Pot, and click search. At this point, you're going to be asked for the password, whether you're at home, public library, at school. FJUHSD is, stands for Fullerton Joint Union High School District. Just click to proceed. And this gets you inside the database. The database is hosted on the internet, but it is part of the private internet that people have to pay for. It's high quality information that we actually rent from a company called Gale. You'll see in the upper left hand corner it says Fullerton Joint Union High School District. That's a reminder that this is not just the regular internet. If you'll see on the left hand side, there's references for Pol Pot and those generally come from books or encyclopedias, images, primary sources, creative works, news, magazines, etc. The references are pretty much the best for this project. I'll click on reference for Pol Pot and it will get you 28 different um, items. So you'll see they come from things like Newsmakers or Encyclopedia of World Biography. Uh, this one is called History Behind the Headlines. UXL biographies, uh, lots of information. Some of these might just uh, mention him a bit. So I'm going to go up back up to the top and just click on this one. You'll want to see whether it gives you the information that you need about your perpetrator of genocide. Here we have the um, article. You can click on listen to the article and a woman will come on with a voice to uh, read the article to you. You can download the article onto an iPod or MP3 player. On the right hand side there are some tools. Paul Pot. Paul Pot, 1928 to 1998, was a key figure in the Cambodian Communist Movement, becoming Premier of the Government of Democratic Kampakia, DK. Okay, so that is the, the voice that will read it to you if you need to. You can share the article, uh, Twitter, Facebook, Digo, Blogger, but only from home. You may email the um, article to yourself. Uh, the printing, to get it into a nice format, click on print, and then go from there and print. It'll tell you how many sheets of paper, etc., if you're wondering. And uh, dictionary, if there's any questions. Uh, words that you don't understand, conservative perhaps, click on dictionary, oh, I guess put it in right here. Anyway, yeah, translate, you can save the article, and related subjects are on the right hand side, you can click on more to get more, but the best thing, the best thing about the database um, is that at the end of the article, here is the information that you need for your MLA works cited entry for your database. Your teacher may ask you to put the URL at the end. Do not put this whole URL. Just stop it when it stops making sense, right about here. So just about from here to here is uh, what you would need to put inside of angle brackets. So if you were to create a works cited, you could copy and paste this Let's just get a Word document up. And of course you would need to format this to 12 point Times New Roman font. Okay, 
Times New Roman font. You want to make sure that you have one inch margins. One inch, one inch all the way across, one inch. And then uh, you would like to have this double space, so you'll click Format, Paragraph. The paragraph should be double spaced with hanging indents, hanging indents here. Okay. So, uh, also another thing you would like to have, oh gosh, what happened here? So this should be like this. My hanging indents like that. Okay, so I'm going to put at the top works cited. And this should be centered. Okay, from here. And in the header, you would like to have your last name. So I'm going to click on View, Header and Footer. And I'm going to put Slim because that's my last name. And I've written a three-page essay, so this is page four. And I would like this to appear on the right-hand corner, upper right-hand corner. So there we are, Pol Pot, Encyclopedia of World Biography. Uh, on the slip, you don't really need this information. You're going to click on 1998 like that. You don't really need a period right there either. Now, let's say Mrs. Sutton says you have to have the URL. Just make sure that you get the, oh gosh, not that, this. All right, URL. And when you are typing the URL, oh goodness, it totally destroyed my document. It might go into a blue hyperlinked state. To fix that, click delete once and you should be fine. Now again, this kind of messed up my formatting. So I'm going to go to Format Paragraph. I'm going to go down to Double double Spacing and the hanging indent there. Click on OK. Again, this turned into a weird font. So I'm going to make sure that that is 12 point times New Roman, 12 point times New Roman, and that's it. And then I just go on to my next entry in my works cited. And remember to save, save all the time, save as, so that you, um, in case the computers break or something, you have uh, the works cited and put your last name and, you know, whatever you need to do there. We're going to click on save. All right, so this again is the database. If I want to look for a different, a different person, Hitler, I will click here at the top, just type in my search. And there's 380 things that have to do with Hitler. The most uh, salient ones will be at the top, the Encyclopedia of World Biography. Um, or I could click on Reference for Hitler to get all 380. These are all different kinds of information that I didn't know about Hitler from before. So I would need to cite this. Again, at the bottom of the article, oops is the citation information, the citation information that you could enter into your works cited slip. I'm going to go back to goodness, back to my website. Print, there are many different print resources at the La Habra High School Library. You can just put in your search term, Hitler, lots of different books on Hitler. Some of them are checked out. If they're checked out or lost, talk to Ms. Mrs. Gaona about that. Uh, Mrs. Gaona is always in the La Habra High School Library. Lots of different information about Hitler. You click on another person, Pol Pot, uh, about three different ones. But also there are some books like the Encyclopedia of Genocide, Genocide. And here there's again the Hitler books because of course he was horrible. And I'd go down here to maybe the Encyclopedia. Oh, I'm going to go to the next page. Encyclopedia of Genocide. And then there's another called the Encyclopedia. Well, I don't know if that ebook really exists. So here we are at the Encyclopedia of Genocide. And um, I've got the book with me. And you're going to want to make sure you put Israel Charney as the author and editor in chief. You cite the book using your works cited slip. And I think that's about it. Google Advanced Search is another way to look for things. If I wanted to look within um, some educational institutions, I might want to search within the site or domain.edu. .edu, it, it's not going to always be great stuff, 
but it will maybe be better than just doing a regular Google search. So if you uh, search within .edu, it may be things that professors have written, um, people who have studied Hitler or Pol Pot or um, whoever your perpetrator of genocide is, Idi Amin. The U.S. is even more guilty than Pol Pot. Um, you know, this is from the English department. It's a letter to the editor. Uh, Pol Pot and the Marxist ideal, Pol Pot. Anytime you see a little tilde like this, that means it's a, someone's personal page. So that person that wrote the page might be a um, professor, might be a student. Pol Pot was a bad, bad man. Just based on that um, article title, uh, it sounds like it was written by a kindergartner. So let's just see. Um, Pol Pot was a bad, bad man. Oh gosh, horrible things you're going to be seeing. Um, but when it looks like that, and it looks kind of babyish, the content might be babyish as well. Um, so yes, you are going to see a lot of horrific images in your research. Uh, perhaps this might be a better one. One of the websites that I recommend is bio.com. Uh, this one might be good, uh, however, and let's look at the full article, but you won't, oh, Wikipedia. <laughs> and Wikipedia, as you know, is written by everybody, and you can ask your teacher whether you can use Wikipedia. If your teacher says you are not able to use Wikipedia, one of the things that you usually can use are the um, links at the bottom of the article. External links, a meeting with Pol Pot from the New York Times. The New York Times is pretty much um, usually very uh, reliable as a source. Some of these references, the BBC, the BBC usually very reliable. The Genocide Studies Program at Yale University, the Cambodian Genocide Program. So these might get you to some reliable sources. Um, yeah, okay, so... MLA Works cited. Uh, you should probably have at least one print source and one database source. Uh, you can use Landmark Citation Machine or EasyBib for your work cited, but you just need to compile the information from your works cited forms. Here's some information on how to create a works cited page. They look like this. One inch margins, all times New Roman 12 point font, include the city of publication, etc using parenthetical citations. I have some information on that. And here's the forms. These are the little slips that you will find in the um, La Habra High School Library that will help you gather information, whether it's print, regular website, or the extra special database that is the Gale Student Resources in Context. And more information on, on the work cited, so make sure you check that out on my page. And here's a little thing about MLA, Works Cited, Works Consulted, if you'd like to look at that sometime. But we're making sure that we give people credit for having researched the correct information. Now over and out, this is Mrs. Slim. Hi, this is Mrs. Slim. I'm here to talk about the little slips. Here's the slips. slips. So there's a slip that says um, regular website. And here's a slip that says print. Print is something that you can touch. And here's a general encyclopedia. General encyclopedia deals with uh, Collier's Encyclopedia, World Book Encyclopedia, Encyclopedia Britannica. Uh, the regular print is any just kind of book or a specialized encyclopedia, such as the Encyclopedia of Genocide and Crimes Against Humanity. So this is a book, a set of books actually. This is the third volume in um, the of, of three. It is an encyclopedia, so it's alphabetical. So if you were looking for Hitler, you'd probably want to find the H's. If you were looking for Idi Amin, hmm, might be it'd probably be an A for Amin. Anyway, the third volume here, the third volume has the index. So if you are not able to find it alphabetically, you'll look in here. And let's see, I mentioned Edie Amin, so I will look in the A's and see if I can find anything. So Edie Amin is listed on pages 1053 
and 1054. Interesting. So I'm going to see that maybe this, oh, this one, 1053. This one isn't, eh, okay, so let's see. Uganda. So Idi Amin does not have his own uh, entry, but there is an entry for Uganda, and that is where Idi Amin is listed. So the information on perhaps the atrocities that Idi Amin committed would be in this section of the book. If you go to, um, okay, this one, this is uh, uh, section two, this is I through S. So again, Pol Pot will be located in this portion, EFG, maybe not. Okay. Let's go back to the index because I'm not sure if I can find Pol Pot alphabetically. So, Pol Pot, P-O-L-P-O-T, is located gosh, right there, 819 to 820. So I'm going to go to the book, find the book, 819 to 820. And I think perhaps I just didn't, yeah, I didn't look very well. So here we are, Pol Pot, uh, a lot of information on Pol Pot. To fill out this form, to fill out this print form here, you want to make sure you go to the front of the book, front of the book, to the title page. This is where you're going to find the information that you need. The um, place of publication, this one says Detroit, New York, San Francisco, San Diego. You can just stop at the first one, Detroit. The publisher, it says right here, Thompson Gale, and it's got the um, editor-in-chief. So instead of an author, you could put the editor-in-chief, Shelton, comma, Dinah L, comma, E-D, for the uh, author. And the, uh, the article title is Pol Pot, and the title of the, uh, the compendium of the book is the Encyclopedia of Genocide and Crimes Against Humanity. So that's how you'd fill this out. If you don't have an article title, leave it blank. If you don't have an author, leave it blank. In the date of publication, the, the date of publication is on the verso, the page behind the title page, and you're going to want to use the most recent one. So this one, it says 2005. And that's how you will fill out this form. At the end, it says uh, medium. Medium means print or web or Kindle file, but you're going to use print because for this project, you need to have at least one book that you can hold in your hand.